unfortunately, if you are traveling out the door right now, we are still dealing with this breaking traffic incident. We have a crash involving two vehicles. You can see here a truck pushed off to the left side, blocking the left lane, and another vehicle is blocking that right lane. So all we have is the center lane that is currently open for those who are traveling I-43 northbound. This is right near Wright Street. So let's take a look at the delays that this is causing. A long line of delays here. This is I-43 right at Brown Street. Those backups are extending pretty much back towards the Marquette interchange right now. So if you are traveling 43 North, you might want to avoid the interstate system because this is what you're going to see if you are traveling along the northbound lanes, just traffic at a standstill. This is our storm chaser stuck in that traffic. Our photo photographer Kyle hasn't really moved too much. Uh, I've been monitoring his camera view for the past few minutes now, and he is still stuck, stuck pretty much in that same area. So just keep this in mind. Heavy delays along I-43 on the northbound side. We're going to continue to monitor this crash. If there are any improvements or updates, we'll let you know. Simone and Tom, over to you. Adriana, thanks. Same. All right, welcome back. And it's time for the Wisconsin weekend in a minute. And this weekend, there are no shortage of festivals. You got Oak Creek Fest, St. Francis Days Festival, the Wisconsin Highland Games and Labor Fest. That's on Monday. There is also a Labor Day Parade on Monday that starts at the Zeidler Union Square building and ends at the Summerfest grounds. Well, music is taking center stage in Milwaukee tonight. Reggaeton superstar Don Omar will perform at Pfizer Forum. Then tomorrow it's the party after dark with Mr. 305. Yes, Pitbull and special guest T-Pain will be uh, headlining that at the American Family Insurance Amphitheater. Then the same night, alternative rock group Third Eye Blind will perform at Potawatomi Casino. And making its debut in the United States, Red Bull Wake, the city's uh, first, okay, they're going to come to the, to the Milwaukee area uh, by the lakefront. 36 of the world's best professional riders will face off in a doubles competition. This event is free and uh, to the public. And oh yeah, this is, I was, listen, listen, I was telling everyone, I had such a busy, we got a lot of stuff going on yes, in the traffic yes, department. I was exactly. so busy, I did not get to finish these scripts. We understand. I don't even know what I wrote about the Red Bull Wake. There's, there's uh, uh, but one. that is happening this weekend. Um, also, IndyCar returns. Yeah, and Fiesta Latino. So there's a lot yeah. of events, and the great news is it looks like we got perfect weather for that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you just got a bad <laughs> hand dealt to you. You got traffic going <laughs> exactly. on this morning. You got one of the busiest weekends of the year yes, wrapping up. The weather is looking so nice. But if you are traveling out this morning for Labor Day, wet pavement, or for the Labor Day weekend, wet pavement is what you're dealing with. So you are going to need to use those windshield wipers. Make sure they're working properly before you head out the door. You can tell here as our storm chaser is traveling out and some of those side streets here in Milwaukee, wet pavement out there. So slow down the speeds. Take it easy as you're traveling out the door. Uh, with that, here's a look at I-43 right at Hampton Avenue. Traffic is looking pretty good along that 40 three stretch not seeing any incidents across the metro area. We're not seeing any delays, but today a lot of people are expected to head out for the Labor Day weekend. According to AAA, the peak travel time or the worst time to travel today is between 2 and 6 p.m. So if you can leave a little earlier or leave a little bit later in the day. According to the DOT, most construction projects out on those highways will be paused to allow as many lanes open as possible, but there will still be those long term major construction projects that are in place. So you will see delays along 894, especially on the westbound side and I-43 as you're traveling from Milwaukee up to the Sheboygan area. And if you do have a flight out there, remember to arrive two hours before that flight and double check those TSA rules before flying. Simone and Tom. Oh, and take a look at this. This Saturday, this is what you can expect in downtown Kenosha. The streets are going to be filled with hot rods and classic cars for the Kenosha Classic Cruising Car Show. About 1,500 to 2,000 cars will be on display in the downtown area. And car enthusiasts come from as far as Canada to be a part of this event. Now the car show is put on by the Kenosha Classic Street Machine Car Club and it attracts motorcycles, trucks, older and newer cars. So it's really an event to celebrate vehicles throughout the decades. For Mark Martin and the special events coordinator for the club and Randy Kevalowskis, they both say this car show started small, but it has grown over the years. Well, this started out 22 years ago just as an open cruise. And then as it got busy and got very full, we decided to have a park and standing, uh, standing cruise. So this is like the Super Bowl for car show people. This event is one of the largest in the Midwest. It's also the biggest free car show that there is. Uh, and we're hoping for a record turnout this year. We got really good weather, uh, anywhere from 15 to 2,000 cars. I'm pushing maybe for 2,000, so I think it should be a very good year. 
Yeah, and hopefully it will be and I expect to see multiple road closures in the downtown area. Everything you see highlighted uh, in blue on your screen here. So from 51st to 59th Street from 7th Street to portions of 2nd Street and the Kenosha Classic Street Machine Car Club is dedicating this year's show to Tony Pontillo, who was the car show's main organizer uh, who passed away earlier this year. So they're dedicating the show in honor of him. Now this event is from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and there's also a big public market happening in downtown Kenosha at the same time. So so you can enjoy the cars and shop together at the same time on Saturday. Simone and Tom, over to you. Sounds like a, yeah, good, good time. All right, Adriana.